stint four finished. F***ing hot again. Back, at, back in Germany for the Nürburgring 24 hours. Uh, just about to go out for first practice and uh, I'm doing it with Audi again this year. It's my fourth time I'm doing it, but instead of the GT3 class, I'm driving the new GT4 car, the new R8 GT4 car, which is uh, quite an honor because uh, uh, we've been trusted to drive, drive it for the first time here. Hi, uh, hello. So, yeah, anyway, practice about to start. Teammate uh, Jonas is gonna go out in the car first and then I'm gonna go out after that. It's a very special track, 25 kilometers long. Um, it's definitely the best track in the world by far. No other track compare, compares to it. So, yeah, kind of daunting, kind of anxious getting to, to get out there. It's a little bit tricky for me because I haven't driven this track for a year and this is the sort of track you need to be driving at regularly if you wanna be fast at. Um, it's very high speed, very fast and flowing. Anyway, it's a nice, beautiful day, so... Uh... First few laps done, first two laps done. One lap takes over just under 10 minutes. Uh, just a reminder how scary this track is. Anyway, brand new car around the track is uh, definitely an eye opener. Definitely an eye opener. Anyway, we now go in for a brief. Okay, it's a qualifying one. Second time we go out today. So it's the dusk in the night session. Just finished um, qualifying, so it's one practice and two qualifying sessions gone. Uh, finally, starting to feel a little bit more, bit, a little bit comfortable. Um, this track, you know, when you only do it once a year, you don't even think about it for one year, and you come here prepared for it to be hard. But until you actually drive the track again, you're like, wow, it's 10 times harder than I remember. It really, uh, it's a confidence track. You really need a lot of laps here. So um, only managed four laps yesterday, uh, and then today we managed five laps. So that was really good. Got into the flow a bit, got a bit more into the rhythm. So yeah, a bit closer to the pace. Uh, I think we've qualified 40 something, but that really doesn't matter because uh, we're in a special class for non-homologated uh, cars. So this is more of a test session than an actual race. So. But it's good. Um, any laps around here, anything is, is daunting and a lot of fun. So it's a uh, morning of the race. Just realized I look like some sort of astronaut in this very white jumpsuit. Um, yeah, morning of the race, and it's what, uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, and it's warm up time. So we get one hour warm up to bed and breaks, just make sure the car's okay. Because um, I've done the least amount of laps out of everyone, uh, I'm doing the warm up to get myself a bit more up to speed. 
Uh, and then the race, the race starts at 3.30. At least us drivers get a chance to rest a bit. Um, the mechanics and the engineers will be on the pit wall or in the pit garage who are ready for anything for, for the whole 24 hours. Okay, so walking back to the uh, hotel now after the warm up. Unfortunately, we didn't really have a warm up because the uh, we had some electrical issues. Uh, so, no warm up for us, no laps at all. We're going to have a lot of bugs, but it's good to get it out of the way in, in warm up, hopefully. So, we won't have it for the race. It's a beautiful day here at Nugbrook Ring. As you can see, uh, just hours before the start, and the crowd is insane. So one of the cool things they do at this race is that they uh, put all 160 cars on the grid and they allow everyone to uh, come onto the grid to spend an hour with the cars and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Um, a lot of people here and uh, looks like we'll maybe get about 50,000 of them on the grid. So we'll take some videos later and you can see all the cars. See there's my teammate's car coming on the grid. And it's kind of cool that all the spectators come in and uh, be part of the show. There's the first corner and the first few cars. There's about, I don't know, 50,000 people here. Here's our car starting 45th out of 160. <laughs> and the rest of the cars all the way down there. And look, we still have people in the grandstand. His job is just to make sure the car works, he's the doctor. How hot? 100. Yeah. It's at least 30 degrees out there, maybe 50 degrees on the tarmac. You're about 60 degrees inside. Okay, so we've just had our first round of pit stops. Our first pit stop, well, our first pit stop was scheduled. No problems, it's good. I think we're in like 38th position. But our sister car, there was an accident in front of us and it took over some debris. So they're having to change not just the rear tire, but the rear corner as well. It's a big, big, big drama. But the cool thing about this race is, even though they've got works teams here, it's also all about the amateurs. We share garages with the amateurs and you can just see that you have a lot of people standing around watching the accident, getting really close to the heart of the action. Okay, uh, quite a bit of drama. Um, Jonas, who was our, my teammate, the second guy in the car, uh, had contact with someone else and then went into the barriers. So, very messy. Got the car back, had to put it back on the flat, flat floor fix it up again so we lost quite a lot of laps so we're right at the back 150 or something okay uh, second stint finished no worries nice and smooth cars running a lot better as well um, yeah it's just it's just running a lot better it's kind of weird though you know I'm, I'm back here right now and I've had 10 minutes <coughs> 10 minutes to have a drink and stuff and I've calmed down but when I was going around I was like you know, the emotions as I was driving around um, were pretty unbelievable and I was, as I was driving around I was telling myself to come back and remember the emotions so you can try and talk to your silly phone, um, trying to try and express it. But you come, you come back and you, you forget about it so quickly, but um, it, it really is like a roller coaster there, you know, I just forget how hard and how difficult this track is. Barbecue smoke and fireworks. People are cooking this time of night, so there's a lot of barbecue smoke guys repairing my helmet the radio didn't work in the last run um, so lots of barbecue smoke so you can't really see where you're going you're kind of peering through the fog the, the barbecue smoke you smell the sausages and and the fireworks are going off and dazzling yourself so it's it's pretty pretty incredible out there and the the, the dips and the rises you know just trying to keep your feet on the pedal is a challenge I'm back in the track after trying to sleep didn't sleep, maybe 20 minutes I might have slept. Cars had a, it was been in the pits again, so I need to find out what was wrong. And uh, we're in the middle of the night, so we're double stinting. So everyone has to be in the car for two hours each, just over two hours each, two and a half hours each. Yay! <laughs>
<laughs> At least it's not cold. Boom, I'm a chaser, facer. Boom, I'm a chaser, facer. Boom, I'm a chaser, facer. Look, the sun is coming out. Hey, Rahel. Hello. Uh, so I just finished my third stint. Uh, it was a double stint uh, from the dark into the night and a lot better um, really enjoying it yeah now, now I'm on the pace yeah I'm right on the pace I'm doing 903s quite consistently which is a very good race pace for these cars um, so now I'm enjoying it it's not so much so scary anymore <laughs> it's uh, it's thrilling it's so much fun that's what makes great tracks they, they scare you to death and then you put in the work and suddenly you're fast and it's the best feeling in the world <laughs> Anyway, well, uh, actually, no, um, f forgot to tell you that the end of my second stint, my double stint, sorry, end of my double stint, um, toe link broke my front right through a very fast left-hander. Very lucky, because I backed off straight away and I didn't try and break late for the next corner. If I did, I definitely would have put it in the barrier in a big way. So we managed to, managed to drive the car back slowly and just so lucky, because uh, when a toe link breaks, it normally puts you in the wall. So the car's back in the pit and... Um, probably take about an hour to fix but uh, hey we're still in one piece and carrying on uh, stint 4 finished fucking hot again it's really hot I'm, I'm well and truly cooked <laughs> you finished <laughs> So they do this really cool thing here where the top three winners get put their cars on a podium and uh, that's the winner right there. Everyone's pretty stoked. We managed to finish the race. Yeah, we had some issues, but uh, it's time for beers now. in KO now after the race. Um, I should have done this conclusion video at the track but to be frank I was just too tired. Uh, 24 hours of racing, each driver did about six hours and uh, it was a really tough race. You know it was hot and sunny the whole time. Um, you know Nova Green is normally called the green hell because it rains and sometimes snows and when we did the race last year it snowed but this time it was dry and hot the whole way and um, as our car was a prototype, we, the cooling wasn't really enough. So I was very, very much baked and cooked by the end of the race. So it's good to be back home. Um, okay, we didn't, didn't go quite as well as we wanted. You know, we had the issue with the accident in the second hour and we spent a lot of time in the pits because of that, trying to repair those issues. Uh, also, I've, I, you know, I had the tow link break in, during my stint, which is a little bit scary. Uh, that was also a result of the accident uh, earlier on in the race. So we lost a lot of time, um, but the point is we did finish in a brand new car that hadn't done much testing at all. So uh, big thumbs up for everyone in the team, very happy. You know, the engineers were under huge pressure to make the car work in such a short time frame. So uh, I was very happy to be a part of that. 